How's it going traders? I hope everyone is having a good day slash trading week so far. It's Monday morning, I've taken zero trades at the minute, but I have got my eyes open on a gold buy. Taking the Forex Funder Challenge as well, link is down below in the description. If you guys want 20% off, click it, TGFX at checkout, and make sure to join up the free training group. Link is all down below in the description. But with all of that being said, the video today I wanted to talk about is how I'm going to level up my trading in 2023 to get 1 million funding. Enough of me talking, without further ado, let's get into this quick video. Buying a small Forex Challenge account is a great way to start off your Forex journey of getting funded. Financial wise, it makes sense. You're not investing a lot of money into the industry, but also you're not going to rush it when it's a small account. When these big size accounts take into a place, a lot of people tend to rush them because they want to get rich quick. And to be fair, you can get rich from these prop firm challenges, but when you're buying a small size challenge account, for example, on the Forex Funder, $10,000 account for around, using my code TGFX, around $70, $80. 1% of $10,000 is $100. Therefore, you only, you can literally have so many attempts on small amounts of money to grow your funding account. It's insane. That's an insane way to look at it, but it's basically a money flipping method. As long as you pass within like the first five attempts, you're, you're going to be better off. Risk management is a given. However, it's something that many people struggle with. Please, when you're taking these Forex challenges, use 0.51% max. Stop over trading, adding in extra entries, using higher size lots, and then taking minus 5% in one day, minus 10% in a week. It's not trading, that's gambling. That's not what these challenges are for. The challenges are there to get you funded and trade you trading properly with the rules that are set in place however with a poor mindset you could be following into trades using big blowing the account let's just say and losing your money overall therefore the company's at the company took a w and you've taken another loss all you have to do is set up a trading plan get your ideas into place get that risk management correct and just be consistent that's all it is it's discipline and consistency that's all you need with trading and with day-to-day -day life if you if you can't win little battles in life like just little w's throughout the day then you clearly aren't going to be able to trade it's all to do with your mind you got to be able to handle the pressure control your emotion control your psychology there's so much to it which you learn as you go which is why i said at the start of this video get the small funded accounts first. Pounding funding accounts is probably the best thing that you can do with trading Forex. You can now merge these prop firm challenge accounts into each other, which then combines the overall equity of the account, and then you have a bigger size account. Forex funder offers up to $1 million funding, which anyone can get funded up to a million dollars. The max package that they do is 400,000, when I'm talking about compounding accounts, I am going to mention about starting from a small size amount, like 10, 25K, slowly but surely. Once you pass, get a payout from after passing. You've got to get the funded account, trade on the funded account. Make sure you get payout because you get the profit refund. You get the refund off the challenge back, and then you also get the profit, which is a 90 to 10 split. You get a 90%. With that money, and with that money, you then buy the same account with the same price 25k account let's say as an example we're buying another one so we've got a life funded account here we've got our profits in this account and we've got a refund which we just bought another challenge for this is how you can com combine and compound the accounts to grow your equity in forex i advise not merging the account just in case you want to take different trades also slippage news you have to be careful when trading big size accounts so it's probably better off if you just have two accounts on the side if that's 25k 25k these two accounts on the side bob's your uncle you're not going to file both of them at the same time if you're trading differently on them that's a good way to look at it it's a good way to strategize your trading and also to be successful in the end of the day you've got to trade smartly to be successful we're all out here to get rich quick 2023 is our year baby hope you enjoyed the video three top tips that i'm going to be using heading into 2023 to level up my trading compounding these accounts to grow and scale my ch challenge slash funded accounts up to 1 million 2 million 3 million the goal is endless there's so many prop firms out there now 
you could get so much funding, it's a joke. Risk managing, trading plan, psychology, emotion, all of that stuff is all to do with myself. Therefore, I need to self-develop, becoming a better trader. And that's what I'm going to look to throughout the end of 2022, heading into 2023. I want to level up my whole life. I'm done. I'm done with it. I want to take over. Therefore, that is my mindset. That's my mentality. And that is what I'm taking through to 2023. And I'm starting now, then later. Why start later? It makes no sense. There's no such thing as 365 basically you know every day is a new day you're not guaranteed the next so take action now please listen to me i'm only trying to help you guys out i'm going to keep making content like i said like and subscribe if you are new around there and i'll catch you in the next one be safe don't over trade and let's get funded together peace